back. Welcome to another episode of Angry Homeowner. That I can't tell you, I've been here 54 years, how many instructions come and they look like freaking Helen Keller was dictating to whatever numbnuts was doing the drawings and stuff. So today we're going to show you about a blade, a snow blade attachment. Um, and we'll get right to it, I guess, and um, just watch my oil pressure get way up there. All right, stick around. All right, folks, the instructions really suck on this particular snow plow or the blade from Amazon. And I have a Craftsman T150. And what they will do in the instruction manual, they will say, hey, by the way, you've got one of three ways to do this, however you want to mount it. But they don't lay out, well, this is for a Craftsman T150 or a T210 or whatever. So I'm going to save you some pain. You will take the supplied bolt and put it down at the bottom hole on the Craftsman T150 on both sides. You're then going to take your pre-assembled, all I had to do was put this pin in, there's two pieces, pre-assembled, and you're going to slide it up over with the bottom hook over to here, and there's a hole right here that you can't see because it's so dark, and that's what this is going to slip through. I'm going to bring it back up. It'll go through this hole here, and that this piece here will then end up going through that hole there. So you do have to preload these and take the pressure off them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll be right back. You can see I'm putting it on and it's not connected here yet. So I will just slide it up over. Now it's connected. Check the other side. It's connected. And now what we're going to do is release the pressure on these. Get this up to a certain height. Release the pressure and lift it and wiggle it and it slides in. Just like that. And that's what you have here holding this for the craftsman. Nowhere in the instructions did it say that. And I'm going to do the same to the other side. And then that's all you need to do for mounting it. Putting the blade and everything else on is pretty straightforward. Okay, so we have the main brace attached to the craftsman here. Okay, cool. And then you've got the skid or the plow there. And then you're left with a hodgepodge of parts. Well, okay. Uh, we don't need those mounting brackets anymore, these little ones down here anymore. So then you come back to page one in English. And I'm going to let you put this on pause and stare at it for a little bit. Because it took me quite a while to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do with these instructions. That was easy. That was easy. But here's the whole madness for the snow blade. But they don't tell you how to hook it up per se, which angle the bar goes or anything like that. So, here we go. Okay, folks, here's what we're left with. And I kind of figured it out with the uh, long bar going across, yeah, the big hole, you know, one on one makes two. This little guy connects up to here with this uh, tension handle. These down here are the, uh, I guess, height uh, stops. And it's great because they have the nylon screws and those are so easy to work with in the winter time. So, uh, heaven forbid they notched it with holes like they do on the back of a TV mount and you could just put it in there with some regular ones and they'd come off when you want them to. So, uh, don't forget to bring your ratchet for sure. All right, I'm gonna try to figure out how this piece here connects to something over here uh, and I'll get back to you. All right, bye. So while looking around, I come to this little rascal and I know he's a player in this game, just not quite sure for what. I'm assuming it's going to help keep it up somehow. So, anyways, more tears. Well, you're back with the angry homeowner, and I found out that that piece here, this is the first part of the two bar that goes all the way down this one here, actually connects into here. Remember how you said, hey, this guy's in the game somewhere? What you do is you slide before, you push him back, you got to push him back in there, and then you push this on, and you can actually manipulate, that will eventually go through there, and you put a cotter pin on it. Now, so here it is, pretty much, I put the bar on the outside, I don't know if go outside or inside, I think it's just going to be easier to grab. So, this is not that sturdy. This has got, order me another one right now, for next season. So, you pull it back. And the blade comes up. I have to do the adjustments down there with our favorite lock screws. Now, this little dude here, for those of you who don't know, 
If you want to do an angle on it, you can tilt, you can do that. See the notches, the blade will tilt one way. Sorry about that video cut off. So you can press this back and lock it, and then you can slide it, and it'll tilt, I don't know, 15 degrees to the right, 15 degrees to the left, I don't know, 20 degrees, who knows. But that is what that is for right there. So other than that, looks like it's ready to go for when Mother Nature calls. And don't rag on me about cleaning this and putting polish on it and stuff like that. It is what it is. Friggin' tractor snowplow. All right, guys, we'll talk to you.